a porn star known as Bella Elise Rose, who is currently listed on the escorting website Porn Companions, while being simultaneously listed on the legal talent agency website ATMLA, attempts to defend Derek Hay of LA Direct Models, who was recently thrown in prison on pimping and pandering charges along with one of the operators of the Luxury Companion. In the following clip, it seems that Bella attempts to shift blame from Derek Hay upon Fran, the elderly female bookkeeper of LA Direct Models. I felt like most of my problems came money-wise and everything like that. Derek always said, always said, I don't deal with money. I don't deal with your money. That's what he always said to me. And I've been friends with girls in the industry and that's what he says to her, or to them. So Fran, she dealt with the money. She dealt with what was going on. So if there was any confusion with all that and the money, I don't know that Derek ever said anything, but everything came out of her mouth to me. And so that's where I find the wrong in the money. Um, Derek never um, forced me to escort. Um, he never put a gun to my head. He never, um, I'm not saying I am an escort now or anything like that. I'm just saying he has never done anything. Like he's never beat me. He's never put his hands on me. Um, we went out for drinks before and he was respectful. Um, I, I think he is strict. I think he's misunderstood. I think that there are ways that he could, you know, these are just my opinions. He could talk to people a little bit differently, you know, be a little kinder and more understanding, especially realizing we're young girls. And you have to remember, he's dealing with a bunch of crazy or like out there and we don't know what we're doing young girls. So in his mind, maybe he thought, oh, I need to be strict with these girls. And maybe he did get a little too strict. I will agree on that. Like, I know that some of the problems is with the money. The money, I felt, was Fran, and whether he told her to say something or not, that's her problem. She should have been the adult and said, no, I'm not doing that. She shouldn't have listened to what he said. That was her fault. Veronica in the office was very kind. She, I felt like she treated everyone fairly. I, um, when I lived in the model house, um, it was not that bad at all. It was nice. He was never there, barely. I just, <clears throat> I don't know. And I, and I wasn't, I'm, maybe I'm just not complicated. I don't know, he never treated me. Like there's times where, yeah, I'm like, this isn't fair, you know, disagreements. But <laughs>